Hey, 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 everybody. I'm right back home. I got another word for y'all today. Uh, I am Grace Amber. I always come on. Uh, whenever God give me something to share, I'm going to come on and share it with y'all, right? Because when you lift other people up, it automatically lifts you up too. So I love to do this. I got a word for y'all today. I want to talk about rejection today. Uh, rejection is typically perceived as a negative thing. Rejection is typically perceived as as a negative thing because typically it hurts people's feelings, right? Well, one of the main reasons why people cannot accept rejection is because they really don't understand the nature of reject rejection and the purpose of rejection. I know that you all have heard the saying, um, rejection is protection, right? And so that saying is what I want to talk about today, the protection that comes with rejection, right? People don't like to deal with rejection. And one of the main reasons why, like I said, is because it hurts people's feelings. But why does it hurt people's feelings? Because it is an underlying expectation that if someone or someplace rejects you, then something is wrong with you. See, that is why people's feelings get hurt when they get rejected is because they internalize that and feel like, okay, they rejected me. So something must be wrong with me, right? Because somebody else or someplace else or some business or whatever it was, some person, somebody else rejected you. And so you feel like there's something wrong with you because they rejected you. That's that's why people's feelings get hurt uh, when they experience rejection. But I want to talk about rejection and turn that thing around a little bit and look at rejection from another uh, perspective, actually a biblical perspective. The saying is that rejection is protection. And so it we shouldn't look at rejection and, and take it and say, okay, I got rejected because something is wrong with me. Rejection don't mean that something is wrong with you. Sometimes it may in certain situations. Uh, if you ain't took a bath in three weeks and you go to go talk to somebody and they cut the conversation short. Okay, well, that, that means something is wrong with you. Uh, there's something going on with your hygiene, okay? And it's not to talk about anybody because, hey, whatever. But I'm just giving you some examples of when rejection can mean that something is wrong with you. There will be those times that rejection is an indication that there is something that you need to adjust. But that is not always the case. More often, rejection is actually protection, right? Because in this world... There are a tribe of people that are going to love your socks off. There are people in this world that God has already primed and prepped their heart for you long before you even came. And when they come across you, they are going to love your socks off, right? There are people in this world that God has specifically assigned to you to serve you in every season of your life while you are here on earth. But you are always going to encounter other people along the way who are not a part of your tribe. And so when you encounter people who are not a part of your tribe, guess what happens? They reject you. Okay. So I wanted to talk today about the different perspective of rejection. And so that as we go along and we all experience rejection that we don't internalize that, that it's always something with us. It, it may not always be something with us. Um, it may just be divine protection, to protect you from the people who you were never designed to be connected to, to protect you from the environments that you were never as assigned to live in and dwell in. You were just supposed to pass by there. And so when you go and try to make that place your home, guess what you experience divinely? You experience rejection. Why? Because that is not the place for you. But if you keep going, right, you're going to come across the place that you can dwell and make your home for us this season in your life. And you will know it because it flows to you and it does not reject you. It opens its arms to you and people will open their arm to you. Those, that's how you know that those are the people that are in your tribe because you don't experience rejection from them. Instead, you experience acceptance from them. That's my word for today. I love y'all. I am Grace Amber. I will be right back on real quick with another word.